Hello, my buffers and windows. I just want to take a moment to go over uh, handling buffers and handling windows in Helix. I'll be honest with you though, I keep it pretty simple and I work in a single window pretty much all the time. Um, so just keep that in mind, but we're just gonna jump right in. So I've got a very basic project here, um, just three files and in Helix, they'll show up like this and we're gonna grab foo. So this is our first buffer and it's the first one that's open. Now, what I will say is I have recently started using this buffer line always and it works really nicely because that buffer line is always visible now and it helps me out a lot. Now, we have these two buffers open and I'm actually going to close this buffer. So in order to do that, it's colon BC and that will close that buffer. Now let's open a couple more. We're gonna open up bar, we're gonna open up baz and people get confused here and they think these are tabs. They're not, okay? It's just the files that are open in memory. So you have to sever your understanding of tabs a little bit when you're dealing with this. Um, another way to find this is do space B and you'll see your list of files that are open in memory. The buffer line above merely represents that exact same situation. So from here, if we wanna move around, um, the easiest way is GP to go to previous and GN to go to next. So that's how I get around most of the time. Now let's say we only want to work on the bar file. We've have, we have all these things open, we only wanna work on the bar file. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do colon BCO and that will close everything but the bar file. Okay, that's buffers in a nutshell. Now, we want to start talking about windows. This is an area I don't spend a lot of time on, but I know a few things and I will show them to you. So let's say we want to go ahead and open that foo file on a split to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and open, we're gonna do space W to open up our window, um, our window menu here. And we're gonna do a V to vertical split right. So we've opened that vertical split to the right, but you can see that it's just doing whatever our previous buffer is. So now we gotta open the foo file in here. So we're gonna pick foo, and there you've got your bar and your foo in two split windows, okay? Now, here's something that may be a little confusing. If we try to go between the buffers, you can see it's actually just, it's not going to the other uh, split pane, it's going to the current uh, window. It's, it's, it's manipulating the current window. Um, so what we actually need to do is we need to do a space W and then we can go, we can use the HJKL to move uh, to the one on the right. A little confusing, but it's okay. So we're gonna move to the right, move to the left. This is where I get confused. Move to the right, move to the left. I don't have the muscle memory set up for this because I don't use it very often, but you can see I'm getting a little faster, a little faster. What I typically do in this situation, because it's easier for me, is you can either access these um, through this window menu, or you can use the control keys. So if I come here, I can do control WW, control WW, control WW, that's how I move. That's a lot easier for me to move side to side. Um, now you can also do control WL, control WH. That is my preferred method. You just keep your, you just keep your finger on the control key and you're just doing WH, WL, WH, WL. That's how I get around. Now we'll just do a couple more items here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and vertic uh, we'll vertical split this one. Sorry, I'm gonna close this. So here, if we wanna close this, I did the wrong one. I wanted a horizontal split because I always get them confused. I think of like splitting vertically. I don't think of splitting vertically. So that's just the way my brain works. But what I actually wanna do is I wanna close this. So we can go into the window uh, mode and I believe you can do Q to close that. So now we're gonna go ahead and do it the right way. We're gonna go space W and then we are going to go ahead and do a horizontal bottom split with the S key. And so now we've got three like that, but we don't want foo, so we're gonna open up Baz. Now, if I'm honest with you all, I am not a huge fan of using Windows in Helix. I would love to know from the NeoVim users how they typically handle these situations, and maybe it's something that I can learn from. Um, but one other thing we can do here is we can transpose these. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this one. 
We're going to close that one. And now we're going to go space W and T. Space W, T. Hang on, let me, I may be making a mistake here. We're going to split that and space W, T. Okay, I think I might have just run into a bug, but you can see that the transposing is working for these two uh, current items. So, um, but anyway, I may have to go ahead and create a ticket for that. So that's some basic ways that you can get through buffers and you can get through windows. Again, for me personally, I keep it single window um, and I just go through the buffers like this. I go through the buffers with uh, space B and I try to keep them nice and clean. So when I'm done using something, I will get rid of it immediately. So hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know uh, and enjoy the rest of your week.